hi there welcome to my channel my name is amina i do weekly videos on weight loss um what to eat um generally healthy mind body and spirit and glad you could join me here so today's video is on intermittent do's and don'ts what are the things that you can do and what are the things you can't do so yeah like i always say i'm not a doctor i'm not a trained nutritionist i'm just a person who used this method intermittent fasting and low carb way of life and i was able to lose 37 kgs i moved from 110 kgs to now 74 and yeah so let's get to the video um i'll start with the do's the things that you can you are allowed to do during intermittent fasting and then i'll proceed with the things that you are supposed to, you're not supposed to do so let's start the do's number one check with your doctor always check with your doctor consult your doctor before you start any weight loss or any uh diet weight loss uh intermittent fasting or anything consult with your doctor number two drink plenty of fluids and especially water when you're fasting do drink a lot of uh, water and fluids and in the other video in my you can check my previous video I did uh, intermittent fasting 101 and I was able to say to uh, show you what type of fluids you can take and you can uh, watch the other video to get more information on the fl that uh, the fluids you can take but especially water drink 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 water do make the right choices and this is a very important thing that I need to get there, out there. If you're doing intermittent fasting, it doesn't give you the, the, it doesn't allow you to now, during your eating period, to eat anything. Don't lie to yourself that because you're doing intermittent fasting, you've not eaten, you can stuff your face with unhealthy food. Don't, don't, don't. Try and, and have and eat a low carb high fat food and if you can do keto well and good the better don't think that it's time to feast and overindulge because you've fasted number three do start with smaller fasting periods like i always say start small and build gradually don't um read about and uh, find information about intermittent fasting and you want to jump from being a newbie to do an to do to be doing an extended fast don't start 16 hours build to it uh the, the i don't know the number i've lost track do break your fast gently like i said in my previous video when you're breaking your fast don't um, eat the whole a whole plate of ugali skuma and nyama and you've fasted for like 18 hours or you've done a long fast break your fast gradually you can take a handful of nuts like five almonds and a cup of mala or sweetened and unsweetened don't eat like a or bone broth don't eat a lot when you're breaking your fast it may cause some stomach upset or you may feel you may get diarrhea and nauseated another thing do fill up with healthy fats avocado Health, when i say healthy fats i mean like Things like avocado, cook your food in butter. When you're making salads, drizzle some olive oil. Coconut oil is also nice, especially when you're eating your last meal prior your fasting. It's good to eat fast, fast fats because they make you feel full for long. So you are able to uh, to not you're able to not feel hungry for quite some time. Another tip or another do is try as much as you can to stay busy uh an idol mind you'll 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 start thinking about food you might realize that you're hungry when you get busy just you, you'll just notice your hours are just passing by and you're not feeling and you're not feeling hungry so let's get to the don'ts and the don'ts are very important number one don't think that your eating period is binging time you're fasted you're saying when i break the fast you start eating pizza cheap fried chicken like unhealthy food don't think it's time to binge do not do not think that it's as much as especially if you're on a weight loss journey don't think that because you've you've fasted for a few hours or long hours it gives you the right to overeat eat as healthy as you can a low carb high fat or keto if you can number two don't drink artificially sweetened beverage 
in your coffee or tea during your fasting period don't do that just take plain tea and not chai amazua normal teas or coffee with unsweetened it being unsweetened and not taking don't add stevia or any other artificial uh, sweetener also don't take um something like zero soda zero cal calorie soda you think that uh, because it's zero hey where okay because it's zero calories uh you will be able to still be fasting no another thing uh don't don't uh don't binge on uh junk and processed food do do not overcompensate when you when you this is just like the other point when you when you're eating when you, it's during your eating period don't think that um you're allowed to eat unhealthy food or binge or stuff your face don't no no, it's not going to help you. You're not going to lose the, that weight. You're not going to see the results you want to see. And then you think that intermittent fasting is working. Don't do that. Don't ignore what your body is telling you. A sister needs to preach this. I'm even bouncing. A sister needs to preach. Do not ignore what your body is telling you. Your mind or you, you want to lose weight and your mind you're ready to do like a long fast but your body is telling you no and when your body is telling you signs of that is telling you no you feel dizzy you feel lightheaded light headed you feel like you can't your body is telling you you can't listen to your body break the fast it's not the end of the world you can always start another fast listen to your body usijifanya makmende please listen to your body if imekata imekata You'll try another day, especially ladies, when you're rolling and you know you get those cravings, your hormones are crazy and you want to do an extended fast and your body tells you, no, listen to it. Listen to it. Don't forget your vitamins and supplements. If you're on, on supplements like me, I take collagen, I take uh, zinc, magnesium. Remember to take your supplements. Supplements, most of them, like from my research, don't break your fast. Remember to take your supplements. And kindly also note on that point that if your supplements require you to take them with food, plan to eat them after you have broken your fast. Excuse the noise in the background. Like I always say, I'm trying to make quality videos. And this, I think I'll deal with it some other time. Don't shut yourself out. Oh my God. This is another important point. And I'm even coming closer for it. When you're doing intermittent fasting, it doesn't mean that because you're doing fasting, you shouldn't have a life. If you are on a journey, it's important to remember that as much as you're fasting, you have a social life. Do not block yourself out of events and gatherings and lunch dates, dinner dates with your friends because you're on this then. What you do is plan, plan, plan. If you know on Saturday you're meeting a girlfriend or there's a wedding, and you want to to attend it and of course you have to attend it it's important to plan your fasting and eating period you plan it so that it can allow you to have uh, dinner dates lunch dates and have gatherings because you're a human being you need you need people you need people around you you need to have that you can't stay for a whole year or nine months like me without meeting people another point do not over exercise because it's allowed you're allowed to exercise during your eating uh during your fasting period do not over exercise don't just start small especially if you're not used to you're not used to um, fasting start slow yeah so those are the do's and don'ts for intermittent fasting if you have any tell a sister so that i can also know don't forget to like subscribe share and tell a friend that to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel and yeah thank you for watching thank you for everyone who subscribed to my channel i appreciate you i'm sending you all the love i love to hear also to see your transformation the, uh, how much weight you've lost since you've started this journey what else you want what kind of videos you want me to talk about yeah thank you for watching bye bye